All right, hello everyone, and thank you for joining me with Five Crush Questions with the franchise owner. I have Joe Christie here uh, with me today. Joe and his wife Janice are owners of our North Texas location. Uh, Joe and Janice have been a part of their Place at Home family now for over a year. Uh, they are building an incredible business, and I cannot wait to hear uh, straight from Joe more about his experience with the Place at Home. Joe, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for having me, Jared. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, Joe, um, these videos tend to be seen by a lot of prospective franchise owners, and they have a lot of the same questions. So it's our goal to just kind of pull from you the things that you went through, what you're going through now. And so just totally honest, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead right uh, along with these questions. But number one, um, can you tell me, Joe, a little bit about your career before you're with A Place at Home? Yeah. Well, I was in the hotel space for 30 years. And when I left that, I wanted to do something different and go in a, just a different direction. Um, and Janice and I had talked for many years about coming into a field just exactly like this. And we thought it was perfect timing. So that's that's how we ended up here in a very happy place. But yeah, that's that was my story. And Janice worked for a nonprofit. She started out with uh, Meals on Wheels. She drove for a while. And she would be talking with those seniors when she was giving them their meals and chatting it up for a long time. They would call her in the evening. And so she loved those seniors. And we had a really good relationship. So when we came over here, we were pretty much ready to go. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. That's, that's great. And so obviously, um, you know, Janice had some experience working with seniors in, in mm -hmm. the nonprofit realm. Um, Joe, your you know professional experience was not in healthcare. It, it wasn't in senior care. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that most certainly answers a lot of people's question: is you know, do you have to have you know home health or or healthcare background in order to to be in a place at home owner? And and most certainly not. Um, but that leads me into my next question: that what's most important is what really motivates people to be in senior care what motivates them to be a part of a place at home so if you look back uh, at your personal experiences um, what is it you would say that motivated you to look into home care business ownership well again it was to really help seniors because at the time when they have to make the transition from home to their next new home it's a very stressful time it's stressful for the family and we went through that ourselves so we wanted to make that a lot better a lot smoother and so we were looking for a place who would, who would train us to be professionals in the uh, space that we're in now and just let us be able to work the way we want to work in, in hand in hand with you but really it's when working with a place at home you guys are a great uh, cultural fit for us and the other things that we liked was that the ethical fit, cultural fit, and just a great concept. All of those things really drew us to, to a place at home. And we felt at home right off the bat with you, Dustin, your wives, <laughs> and the folks at, uh, uh, in Omaha. So it was one of those things where we were so happy when we left that we were like, thank God we got, we got to be franchisees with a place at home because that's really what we wanted 10 minutes after we met you guys. Well, that, that's awesome. And thank you so much for those, those kind words. And uh, Joe, you uh, have, you know, like you, like you normally do, have gone above and beyond because actually in answering the question number two, you took the words right out of my mouth and started answering question number three, which is uh, fantastic. So I, I was going to ask, you know, what ultimately drew you to a place at home and kind of that why a place at home? Mm -hmm. um you you said in, in in so many words um definitely a good culture fit ethical fit glad to be a part of a franchise like family and mm -hmm. we most certainly feel the same is, is there anything else that stood out to a place at home you know with, with a place at home and our, our franchise opportunity um you know that, you well, we, add to that we liked that it was just starting out uh, i think even in hotels i worked with uh, companies that were just starting out no one ever heard of them and i love that because we can go in fresh 
and they had never worked with anybody in our company before. So if they had a bad experience, you were a good experience, you were brand new to them. And that's the same way we felt here. Rather than going with somebody, a uh, franchise or that has 50, 100, 200, 300, uh, that didn't appeal to us at all. It was really the fact that it was a growing, young and growing company that we wanted to be part of. That's great. A absolutely. Pioneers. You know, we're, mm -hmm. you know, we're definitely pioneering a place at home and, and feedback and, um, you know, things that we learn in every one of your locations only make the entire brand stronger. And all the experiences we draw from our owners only help to better hone in our processes uh, along the way. So uh, that's great. Um, so question number four. How do you feel about your ongoing training and support? Well, the initial training, there was a lot of it there. And that happens with any place that you would go. You get that, say, week or so worth of training and you soak it all in. And there's a lot there. But the great thing is we have follow-up at all times. Uh, so there's never an issue with what we had in our training. We had our training manuals, we had our notes, but every now and then you need a little help. And so our ongoing uh, support is great with William being our director of performance, uh, business performance, and with you and Dustin pitching in every time we need something. So to me, the training is just ongoing. It started out great and it just keeps on going. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, and I, I personally am aware of some of the, the support and coaching and training moments that you've had with the place at home. And I'm proud that we were able to, to give, you know, that kind of attention that, that, that you need to help in areas that, um, you know, maybe something isn't quite clicking, right? You, you're, you're going through, you're doing something a certain way and you're not getting the result you wanted. And that's boom, that, that is the light bulb moment to where we need to know, we need to, enter, we need to be there and help you through that process. So, so glad this that- happened that every time for us, to be honest with you. If I get on the phone with you or Dustin or William, you have given me some great advice over the time, over the years, because we'll be talking, you go, know, why don't you try this? And I'm like, wow, I try to write it down as fast as I can. So I remember for the next time. But yeah, I, I think the training ongoing conversations are just fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you. And uh, question number five. So mm -hmm. over these last two years, um, we have had... Uh, two different, very different uh, conventions. Convention number one, in person, lots of fun, had the franchise owners together. Uh, number two, still a lot of fun, still got the franchise owners together, but it was virtual. Yeah. Uh, I know you weren't able to participate in the first one. Janice was with us. Yes. Uh, the second one, you both were able to, to participate to some extent. Mm -hmm. And uh, so tell me, what were your thoughts? Uh, what did you think about the conventions? What were you able to take from it? Well, I was unfortunately not able to come to the first one, but Janice uh, had a great time. Uh, she came back, she had a lot of knowledge. She loved the speakers that you had. She got to meet everybody and you got to go to the OSU Nebraska game <laughs> and have a little you know, fun time there. And uh, so she felt really good about that. And just from her, I kind of fed off of that. And then we had the um, virtual one. And I gotta be honest, it was better than I thought it was going to be because it, you guys had it really figured out where you wanted things to go. So you put a lot of time in it, a lot of effort in it, and uh, we were really happy. Especially the end when we had the little little tasting uh, <laughs> celebration. That was cool. That, that was really neat. You know, and uh, our digital marketing team and, and our support team, operations team, development team, everybody really came together to, to, to play their part in that last uh, convention. and. When it was done, uh, I think we all just kind of stood back and looked at each other and said, did that really just happen? Did we just get through two days and not have a technical issue? Like yeah. everything went great. Like it was fantastic. We, you know, we, we were really uh, pleased on our side. We've had some great feedback. So uh, thanks, thanks yeah. for, for that feedback and helping mm -hmm. us affirm that. So uh, looking into next year, let's, you know, we were planning on being in person Joe, this time I, I want to see you in person. I'll be there. They got to be there on a stretcher. I'm coming. All right. No, very good. And um, so before I end, I got one last bonus question I do want to ask you. And that is if you were mm -hmm. to rewind time and go back to 
uh, you know, making that decision of going with a place at home, mm -hmm. would you do it again? I would. And the reason is we're starting out a little slower because of the pandemic and other things. But right now we're growing. And that's the most important thing to me is we are growing in a time where we were able to figure out and sort out what we needed to do when it changed everything. And we're doing really well now and we're going to continue to grow. So there, yes, absolutely. I would do it all over again. Awesome. That's, that's great. I have no doubt uh, you have new heights literally right in front of you. You are growing all the time and it's only onward and upward. I am excited to be a part of, of your future um, and, and a part of your growth. So great. that's all the questions I have for today. Again, uh, Joe, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Thank you, Jared. Great seeing you. All right. Thanks a lot so much. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.